Hey guys, Joshua Stern with the Stern team at Keller Williams, keeping you in front and educated about all things real estate. So when it comes to buying, selling, refinancing, you guys will make a good and informed decision. So, uh-oh, FHA mortgages, um, their delinquencies right now are the highest ever. So the question is, should we push the panic bus button? Is a tidal wave of foreclosures coming? So I read an article recently from Bloomberg regarding Federal Housing Administration mortgages or FHA loans. The path to home ownership quite often starts with these types of loans as they're geared towards first time home buyers, minorities and lower income families. They now have the highest delinquency rates on record going back to 1979. Delinquency rates went up to 16% in the second quarter of 2020, and that's up nearly 7% from the first quarter. The de delinquency rate for conventional loans by comparison was only 6.7%, so more than double. Obviously, millions of Americans had stopped paying their mortgages after losing jobs, losing hours, or getting furloughed because of the coronavirus pandemic. However, don't panic yet. It was actually expected and predicted by the federal government who implemented immediate measures to protect homeowners from foreclosure using the CARES Act and the For Parents program that's within that act. This allows homeowners that are experiencing coronavirus related hardships to defer payments for an initial 180 days and actually up to one year without penalty or, penalty rather, or the risk of foreclosure. Obviously, the government's learned a lot from the great recessions of the late uh, 2000s. They are focused on avoiding the same foreclosure rates that caused housing prices to decline and put the economy into a tailspin. According to the MBA, which is the Mortgage Bankers Association, about 4.1 million homeowners, or about 8.2% of loan balances, are actually in forbearance. Um, so. The reality is housing has held up quite well for now, and that's been fueled by record low mortgage rates and the government providing stimulus packages for the people. Even if those distressed homeowners are in default beyond the one year forbearance period, they're more than likely going to have the equity to sell their home because home prices have been continually on the rise for at least eight to nine years. And unlike the last recession, currently 59% of homeowners have equity. So here's the thing, if you know of anyone who is in trouble with their mortgage, make sure they reach out to us. We can help them understand a little bit more about the forbearance portion of the CARES Act and we'll help get them pointed into the right direction.